Today we are taking a look at a brand new micro brand out of Australia that has totally and completely nailed it with their first release. The company is Houtman Watches and their first watch, the Pilbara, is a very well constructed, good looking diver and this has just about everything we look for in a good diver. Now Houtman has gone the extra mile on a couple of aspects of the brand I would love to see from more upstarts. One of those being they are fully self-funded, so they are bypassing the whole crowdfunding thing. Nothing wrong with that, and some companies need to do that, but it's nice to be able to order one of these watches and have it shipped out right away. Big thanks to Houtman for lending in the watch for a few days for us to take a look at together. Really appreciate it, so let's get straight to it and take a look at the watch. Now, not only did Houtman go the extra mile by self-funding these watches, they also give you some great extras. The watch comes out in this watch roll, and inside, let's get it open here, we have a screwdriver to size the bracelet. There is a really good quality rubber strap, very similar to isoframe straps if you're familiar. There is the watch, of course, but my favorite extra of them all is this card right here, which just has your basic instructions on one side, then on the opposite. Final Q&A and test report. I would love to see something like this from every single brand. First of all, there is a visual inspection, so probably checking for alignment, maybe dust or debris under the crystal, that sort of thing. Then an accuracy test with this one running minus two seconds per day, and this is dated the 24th of January, the day the watch was shipped. It's just nice to see that extra care and attention. There is a total of five versions of the watch. This white is my favorite, but if you're looking for something a little more exotic when it comes to dial material, they also have a dial made of compressed rock, which looks pretty interesting. That one is slightly different than the rest with the print work being on the underside of the crystal versus being on the dial like the model I have. My version, which they call the white salt, is a high contrast, stark white dial against black hands and markers, and is about as easy to read as you can get. It's an ultra clean dial layout. Up top, it reads Houtman, then automatic, 200 meters above the six, and I like that they went with the fine font like that. Everything else with the dial is quite bold, so it's nice that they've kept the print work a little more subdued. The chapter ring and markers are one piece and raised slightly above the dial, which gives an otherwise stark dial some depth, which is a nice detail. The handset is just right for the watch. The second and minute hand are just the right size and length. Normally, I like to see the hour hand come out to the edge of the hour markers, but it would have been probably a little too close to the length of the minute hand, which might cause a problem getting the time. The Loom is BGW9, and this is as good as it gets for BGW9. There's brighter Loom formulas out there, but this has a solid, even application. A lot of times, something like the bezel or markers isn't as bright or fades faster, but not the case here at all. Even the crown, which has a loomed inlay with the company logo, is as bright as the rest of the loom and fades at the same rate as the bezel, the markers, and handset. The bezel is a 120-click unidirectional bezel. Good, sturdy, precise action, and lines up just right. It's a coin edge bezel, so very easy to grip and turn, and I'm liking that they went with a matte ceramic insert. It just suits the overall tooly look of the watch, I find. The crown is a screw-down crown. The winding feels smooth, and same goes for setting the time. 
screws back in smoothly as well. The movement running the watch is the Miyota 9039 high beat movement beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It's a hacking and hand winding 24 joule movement with a power reserve of approximately 42 hours. The bracelet is solid with screw links for sizing. It's quick release as is the rubber strap for easy strap changes. The clasp is signed Houtman and we've got some polish details on either edge of the clasp. Three micro adjusts. There's really not much to complain about when it comes to the bracelet. Maybe an on the fly adjustment system would be nice, but otherwise a good bracelet overall. And the same can be said for the rubber strap too. It's pretty good, although I will say the material is a little on the gummy side. So when you try to slide the strap through the keepers, it's a little sticky. Once it's on, you're good to go. And I think I prefer the look of the watch on the rubber. The case is well finished. They could have easily left it completely brushed, which would have looked good, but they added that polished edge to the lugs, which gives the case a little more personality. The case back is a screwed down case back with a stamped image of a dog, which is inspired by Red Dog, an Australian film based on the novel Red Dog. Size-wise, the watch comes in at 41.5 millimeters. Lug to lug is 48.5 millimeters. The lug opening is 22 millimeters and the bracelet tapers down to 20 at the clasp. Thickness is spot on at 12 millimeters, including the slightly domed sapphire crystal, which is treated with an anti-reflective coating and the water resistance is 200 meters. On wrist, this wears awesome for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. There's really not too many negatives at all with this watch. Houtman pretty much has ticked all the boxes I would look for in a watch like this. I'm very impressed and at the current launch price of 599 Australian dollars, which is just under 425 USD as of today's exchange rate, this is a great buy. Full retail will eventually be 749 Australian and I'm not sure when those prices will go up, but overall an excellent first release from Houtman. So that is it for today. Link to the Houtman site will be in the description below. Thanks for taking a few minutes to stop by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.